Okay, so here we get a little Emco lathe. This is uh, made in Austria. And uh, we're cutting a piece of Beller in here. Going to demonstrate the uh, power longitudinal feed on this lathe with a piece of O, about three quarter inch Delrin. So uh, that's the longitudinal feed in action. The Z direction. I'll zoom it in a little bit so you can see it. That uh, longitudinal feed is a nice little option, that uh, optional accessory you can get with the lathe. I'm going to turn it off here. I'm going to clear the swarf and uh, I can show you how that's probably about a oh, 15 thousandths cut. You can cut quite a bit more than that, but uh, it's a two speed motor, so that's the high speed. There's a low speed. Uh, right now we've got a dead center in the tailstock and a three jar chuck in the headstock. Uh, show the uh, action, how this works. So this is the uh, Board end of the headstock spindle. And it's belt drive, and then there's this uh, down here is a little figure eight belt that uh, you can actually reverse this by flipping the uh, belt over instead of uh, having it turn 90 degrees one way, have it turn 90 degrees the other. This is actually on a relatively high speed for this uh, uh, spindle. We can uh, change the speed by changing the belt, so I'll uh, run it down and just show the uh, lower speed. So we're going to pop it out of this, and then uh, it actually looks like a higher speed yet, and uh, yes that is, okay that's a higher speed yet, we'll go to one uh, lower speed, and that would be this way, and this guy, and this guy. It sounds uh, a little higher pitch, but I believe that's actually a lower speed. And we can also get a, another intermediate speed by putting it on now. Uh, these two, this should be a little higher speed than the last time. So quite a useful range of speeds. And it uh, cuts Deltrin quite nicely. Uh, I think it also cut brass very well and aluminum. I'd be a little leery of cutting steel with it, though. I guess there are people that will do it. So that is the Emco lathe. Uh, some accessories that it comes with would be uh, these right here. It's got a faceplate. It's got a live center. And uh, it's got a couple of wrenches. I get that swarf out of the way here. It's got uh, a couple of wrenches and some extra belts. And a uh, drill stack or a drill chuck with a... Uh, Chuck key, and uh, this is another pulley. Somebody had actually put a little bit of retroreflective material in there to get a, a, a tachometer on there. So that's the Meyer lathe, and that'll be on uh, on eBay coming up here shortly. This is Lucas signing off.